In this video, we will be creating a personal website using AI, specifically using a tool called lovable.dev. What's great about this tool is you can use plain English to describe exactly what you want and it will build it for you. So I'm going to start in Notion where I've already written out a very, very detailed, very intentional prompt for my personal website. I'm going to be putting this in the description in case you would like to use it as well. You can just swap out your information in the placeholders. So I'll be putting it directly into this chat window here on lovable.dev. And I'm going to be attaching two things. One of which is a photo of myself because I want that on my personal website. And then the second is business insider logo because I'm going to be showing press that I've been featured in. That should be good. I will press enter and it is starting to code out the website based on this text prompt. While it's doing this and it should only take a couple of minutes, I just wanted to explain why I'm using AI over other tools that you might be familiar with that are like drag and drop editors like Squarespace or WordPress, for example. Currently, I have a personal website hosted on Framer and I like those solutions, but I find that AI is a lot better for my workflow because anytime I need to make a quick update to my we website, I can just describe that in plain English and it will create the changes for me. As you see here, it just took minutes to create this landing page for me already which is a lot faster than if I were to have built this out section by section in any other CMS or content management system that already exists. Also, to get to this point where I am right now, this has been free. So I just used my prompt and then I used Lovable. I am now on the paid plan, but I know that it would get you to where I am right now on the free plan, which is pretty impressive. And so now any changes I wanna make, I just have to chat over here on the left with Lovable and ask it to make certain changes for me. So one thing you'll notice, well, first off, this is too small. It says as featured in, and then the business insider logo is tiny. Make the business insider logo about five times larger. So that's one thing that I want to change. By the way, I'm using a key on my keyboard that does talk to text and it's a tool called Whisper. I love it. I'm going to put it in the description below if you want to use it as well. I think it only works on Mac, but it has really, really improved my workflow. It's just a lot faster for me to talk and describe what changes I need to be made versus just typing it all out. Create a contextually relevant footer. Cool. So now it's going to review all of the code it's already written and make these changes. So it says, I'll help you increase the business insider logo size and add a footer component. Now that's too big. I guess five times as much is, is too much. It decided it should add a resources section, success stories, and then a privacy policy and in terms of service. Uh, just a note, none of these are real links yet. If I wanted to create these pages out, then I would have to instruct it to create like a privacy policy and a terms of service page. Also, let's see, helping small businesses leverage AI and modern tools to work smarter and not harder. That is so cliche and generic, so I'm definitely going to change that. But what I do like so far is that this is just giving me a layout and rapidly giving me iterations so I know how to improve and what I need to improve. It's still looking a little bit blah. The Business Insider logo is still way too big. Please adjust the sizing so that it's not the original H6, but it's not as big as it is right now. Remove the background behind the hero image. So I've made some edits and here we are right now. Um, I don't think the spacing is quite right. I think this text should be a little bit bigger. 
I do like the direction that we're going in. Add the following text in the newsletter component, like my example. The hero image should stay the size that it is, but the text needs to be larger to fill more of that space. Great, that's already looking better. It's still looking pretty plain right now and pretty minimal, which works for some people. I think I'm gonna try to jazz it up a little bit more, but I think for the purposes of this, I wanna move on to show you how I will make this functional. So I am using ConvertKit for my email. If I provide an API, can you help make the newsletter component functional? What I'm asking here is basically I need it to guide me through how I'm going to hook up my email program that I use. I use kit.com. It says we need to handle the API key for convert kit securely. So they want to use Supabase to store it securely, which it integrates up here with Supabase. Yes, let's integrate Supabase. So here we'll press connect to a project. So it's going to walk me through step by step on how I can actually hook up my subscription or my email with kit.com, but it's all step by step. And anytime you want to integrate any sort of plugin or feature, you can ask Superbase, sorry, Lovable to create that for you. So how can I make the email newsletter component here functional? with email in kit.com. Cool, so I already had that set up in Superbase and it basically just said that it hooked it up so that now it works. But if you have any problems, you can ask AI to do things step by step and it'll guide you through the whole process. What else? Where should the button that says join 500 plus subscribers link to? Okay, so when you click here, it'll scroll down to where you should enter your email, which is great. Cool, and it also reformatted that, which is what I really wanted. You changed the copy, and I don't want you to change the copy, but I do like that you centered the copy. So a quirk about this is sometimes when you have it do something, it'll make a lot of assumptions if you don't put parameters within your request to limit what it's doing, and so it'll make those assumptions and rewrite copy, for example. So you have two options. You can either press restore to go back to what you were doing before, or you can kind of reprimand it and say, hey, get back on track, don't change my copy. And it'll remember what copy it changed and it'll change it back to what you need um, or what you had before. Okay, it says, I've reverted the newsletter copy back to the original text while maintaining the centered layout and improved responsive design. So that's great. So when I press, nice, when I press this button up here, it scrolls down and it responds just the way I was expecting it to. Please link all of the YouTube links with the following YouTube link. So I just pasted in what I need all of these YouTube links to direct to and it's going through and updating all of those. I'm going to keep building this out using AI. Um, don't want to bore you watching me build the whole thing out. By now you should have a feel for how you can create your website using plain language to describe what you need. As far as design goes, you can take screenshots and of designs that you do like, and you can paste it and attach it into Lovable into the chat just by dragging it right in there or pressing the attach button. And you can have Lovable emulate certain parts of sites that you do like. My philosophy is to just start building and then you'll understand all the components that you'll eventually need and you'll tailor the site to exactly how you want it. I would start with the prompt template that I'm linking down below to create this personal website. Again, it will have a prompt that you can swap out your own information with and it's a very, very good starting point to use within lovable.dev. You don't even need to use the paid version if you don't need, if you don't want to yet, you could just go try it out, but chances are you'll want to continue building it out and use the paid version. So now if I wanted to publish this site, I could hit publish and 
In this case, I think it's going to deploy it to something called Netlify. My site is already published. So here it is. It created this name, Modern Meg Website. But if I actually wanted to deploy, let's see, build and deploy. And oh, I guess I could put this starter template also so that you can remix it from my profile. That's pretty cool. Meaning you can use this template that I've, I've just created. So you can publish this site for free using a custom domain on Netlify. And you can also use Vercel. I've used Vercel in the past, but the instructions for using Netlify are right here and are pretty straightforward. And what's great about this is your Lovable app will automatically redeploy to Netlify whenever you make changes in Lovable. So that's super powerful. Cool. I hope now you feel empowered to go and create your own personal website using AI. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. I read every single one. I'll see you in the next video.